When families lose their homes and their land, ancient traditions are destroyed. With them are lost the spiritual foundations for life. And the family loses its sense of unity. In 1959, North Carolina Governor Luther Hodges set off the first charges of dynamite for the Cowan's Ford Dam project. The dam channeled Catawba River waters into the largest lake in North Carolina, Lake Norman. The project was the culmination of James Buchanan Duke's dream of an electrified South and the beginning of the region's future. But what of its past? One of the big problems in mythology is the one of putting the individual in accord with nature. One of the problems in our tradition is that the land, the Holy Land, is somewhere else. So we've lost our whole sense of accord with nature. And if it's not here, it's nowhere. To those who knew these lands and forests, these swimming places in the old river, these houses that through long decades have sheltered generations of good, solid, salt of the earth folk, these big barns, rolling cotton fields, beautiful meadows. It's a sad journey up the Beatty's Ford Road these days. I wonder just how these displaced persons feel. My family came here over 300 years ago. They farmed, they raised livestock, they raised children. The land sustained them for generations. They built mills and houses. They named a town after us. Cornelius. Then in 1959, Duke Power Company built Lake Norman, and slowly the water covered up a former way of life, of home, and of family. Then a new way of life came in. From a countryside of corn stalks and cattle fields to elite suburbs full of luxurious subdivisions and 35-foot sailboats. What happened to that way of life and to those families? Where did they go? We want to take you back in time to show you some of the families who once lived under Lake Norman.